Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Window Shopping. My name is Stephen Mead. I'm your host with Domicile Real Estate, real estate for people who love houses. Just as a reminder, we are a real estate brokerage here in Southern California, and we specialize in architectural homes, mainly mid-century modern and historic homes. But honestly, we love anything that is a cool house. And this is the show where we kind of take you through and we sort of analyze a house that's on the market that we think is special in some unique way and want to share with you. So let's go ahead and get started. This week, we're going to talk about a type of house that actually exists in lots of places throughout Southern California. Uh, there was an architect named William Kreisel. He kind of looked like Colonel Sanders, if you Google him. And he is responsible for a huge number of mid-century modern tract homes that exist throughout Southern California, LA and Orange Counties. And most of his designs are between 1,200 and 1,800 square feet. And the home we have today is right in that range. It's located in Woodland Hills. Uh, on a larger lot. Um, and while we don't have a 100% confirmation that this is one of his designs, there's so many things about this house that sort of scream William Kreisel that uh, it is very likely one of his designs. And if it isn't one of his, it is somebody who really, really liked his designs and decided to copy them. Uh, if, you're, if you're thinking, what is he famous for that maybe you've seen in Palm Springs, all of the butterfly roof houses that you see, those are William Kreisel designs. Uh, and here is the home this week. It is 22846 Calabash Street in Woodland Hills. It is just under 1,400 square feet built in 1956. Uh, and it's on a pretty good size lot. lot. I think it's around 8,000 square feet. Three bedrooms, two baths. Uh, this is not our listing. It is listed by Alice Cannington of the agency, but we would love to represent your interest as a buyer. And if you are a buyer, you do want your interest represented. There is representation available for you, someone to look out for you and not just look out for the seller. Uh, and this home is listed at $1.35 million. So I want to talk a little bit about the outside. So there is this design style called the Mid-Century Modern Ranch. And this is one of those designs. And one of the hallmarks of this design is a lot of times these homes are going to be L-shaped, just like this. In this case, the garage juts out. And what you can't see is there's actually a really cool patio breezeway space between the house. We're going to see some photos of that later. These homes tend to have unique structure elements and walls of glass. These are probably the, the biggest thing you notice about these homes is that they really bring the outside in. And here you go, you walk in the door and you immediately, this is that breezeway space between the garage and there's kind of like a little front patio here. This is a living room. Um, one of the things I want you to notice here, and we'll see it in the next picture, is these beautiful tongue and groove ceilings that you see here. Uh, these are big beams. There's a lot of space between the beams. It really creates a very dramatic effect. And this is an effect you actually saw on a lot of more expensive custom mid-century modern homes. Um, a. Quincy Jones did this on quite a few of his homes. So it's kind of a shared design element there. Uh, they've redone this fireplace. Again, some of these choices might be a little bit on the contemporary side, but overall, I think they fit with the character of the house. That's probably the most important thing. You've got these deeper eaves that keep some of the sun out and then clear story windows like this. And even though this is only a 1,400 square foot house, this is a pretty big living room, you know, in this home uh, that you've got right when you walk in. Uh, this is that front kind of patio, almost courtyard space, like right where you walk in. I kind of love this because this feels like an outdoor living room. Uh, and it's right off the living room, too. So it makes a lot of sense from a use case. I would probably have a fire pit out here if it were me. Then as you walk in, you've also got this dining space here and then a kitchen at the back of the house. And the kitchen also has some full height glass, clear story windows. Again, these vaulted ceilings. We've got an island. This is a very good sized kitchen, uh, not just for the era of house, but in general as well. I like the simple white cabinets. Nobody was trying too hard on this renovation to make it look like something that it wasn't. I think sometimes when you try so hard, those designs don't age very well. I think this one is going to age gracefully. Really a great size kitchen for this, for this home. 
Then you've got this uh, remodeled bathroom towards the front of the house. Here we have, um, you know, what is going to be one of the bedrooms. This looks like a king size bed in here. They have added this window underneath. I don't think this window was originally there. Personally, I could do without it as you've got these beautiful clear story windows and a full height window looking into the backyard. We've got another bathroom here, which is again, beautifully remodeled and ready. Uh, we've got this room is almost like an office bedroom. Again, there's three bedrooms in this house. Then we've got a bedroom over here and we've actually have some Palm Springs pictures on the wall. Um, my guess is that these sellers are in fact fans of Palm Springs. Uh, and you've got kind of uh, another little music room here. And then we've got a beautiful backyard with a pool and kind of this wonderful hillside. And what I like about these hillside homes is that these give you a lot of privacy. You're not, you don't have another house staring into your backyard. And I think that's, I think that's pretty cool. This pool's got a Baja shelf uh, and this home also has a leased solar system. Obviously, you have to check the contract to see if it's advantageous, but really, this is a nice size yard that lets you do everything you need to, because remember, you've also got that lounge space at the front of the house that we showed earlier. They actually have done a gate to completely wall off the front yard. Um, you know, this creates yet again, another sense of privacy for this house from the street. I really like that. Um, really, this is just a great house at, at what I'm going to call an attainable price range. I mean, I, I don't think we can call this a cheap house. It's not. It's a very nice house, though. And, you know, these Kreisel designs are very well laid out. And the design is very efficient. So even though it's under 1,400 square feet, this is going to be one of the biggest living 1,400 square foot houses uh, that you are going to find. Anyhow, that is it this week. Calabash in Woodland Hills, priced at 1.35. If you like this house, if you want to see this house, definitely reach out to us. We would love to show it to you and give you our in-person thoughts on the ground. If you don't like this house, but you love architectural homes, still reach out to us. We would love to chat with you. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Questions and comments, we love them. Happy Friday, everybody. Have a great weekend, and we will see you again real soon.